have your say. Fellow Gambians, my government has approved a 500 million dollars emergency fund, which the ministries of health and finance will work on for disbursement and use to fight COVID-19 menace. Kalibi take a yomona, why come with Jeff and we see the lady? Ninko see the lady, and not the Ninko Joh Niko Yeo, while the Ninko Joh Lolo Mojara Laki. Because Lohanella, Nitiata Nijoheko, then you all in for tech, Tehalis in Nidila, come Kaisi population villa, what the girl ligon on my Kuneka Gisses of Wova. Mansuma Sanyon Dam, you say the Kunumoro, Bunsi de Fried High Low, Nidu Nidu, Ninko Sukunek, Lower Anga Amco, as can be sent Demodic Buniwanya. Mujel ko def ko si lono participe ko si lono ba xamne da nañ mëna and ci wañu suñu demak suñu dikk gënel len xaliss bi xaliss bi niñ ko gënné ñu def ko ñu defar suñu réew bi dafa réew nak dang koy commencer ñang mu ba nit ñi di fajju fébr di fajju tan fébr di fajju dafa xemul combo lool affaire bi du comme rek nañ gënn ci all bi ñu defar hôpital li war man mi nek combo mo war ka nek photo to mo war ka nek pokaw ñogu mo war ko nek fenen waye nit do ko mëna wax mu tek kërëm joxlo ko dara lum lek so ñun bala corona dañu ray Hiv mo nyora i ngurbi. Ikole ngambulo luku. What do Johnny Safu no la with whatever we do. Hale yi demu nyu skula, nyepam nene kudukula Nyepangi raga la gena, nyepam nene kudukula Ibulo ke nungoto ni beti sola Ibulo ke dato ni beti sola Bigi! Eh eh! Bigi kongo! Lamin! Nani ke jime nuri nte nyame lamin? Kama na ulokona? Ulokona ni nte mo lamin? Pabili nki? Muna ngata afamo le? Ah, <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> 
la mine n'est pas carrément tel bégi ko bégi n'est pas ya boule à cara ou le canota qui l'a ria bambalo yo bé boule à j'en côte au dîner moi ici à la à la laisse non la moi radiot ou à la commande à cara moi mon sur la mine n'a pas assis sur la règle si la 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 ko <laughs> Good day viewers and listeners, welcome to yet another mathematics lesson for the upper grades of the lower basic school. We'll be looking at fractions and uh, the talk will be on mixed operations on fractions. But before we delve on to the topic, I want us to quickly refresh our minds on what we've been doing in our previous lessons. More so on the partitioning method on addition. During our last session, you were taught how to partition numbers in mathematics. Say, for instance, you have a 349. How is this partitioned? The 349 could be written as a 300 plus a 40 plus a 9. What is done here is the 3 be 300 because of its position or by virtue of its position. The position of the three is hundreds, hundreds. And then the position of the four is tens, while the position of the nine is units. So the value of the three here is 300. Likewise, the value of the four is 40. And then the value of nine is what? Just a nine. So on mixed operations, similarly, if you have a three and a quarter, for instance, this three and a quarter could also be partitioned as a three plus a quarter. And being three here being a whole number could also be what changed to a fraction as in one over four. So the three here will be a three over one. Welcome to yet another mathematics lesson for the upper grades of the lower basic school. We'll be looking at fractions and uh, the topic that we're going to look at to all together will be on mixed operations. On our last session, you were taught how to partition numbers in mathematics. Say, for instance, you have a 349. How is this partitioned? The 349 could be written as a 300 plus a 40 plus a 9. What is done here is the 3. Uh, okay. Okay, we're going to ask that. Okay. Good day, viewers and listeners. 
welcome to yet another mathematics lesson for the upper grades of the lower basic school. We'll be looking at fractions and uh, the topic that we're going to look at to all together will be on mixed operations on fractions. But before we delve on to the topic, I want us to quickly refresh our minds on what we've been doing in our previous lessons, more so on the partitioning method on addition. During our last session, you were taught how to partition numbers in mathematics. Say, for instance, you have a 349. How is this partitioned? The 349 could be written as a 300 plus a 40 plus a 9. What is done here is the 3 being 300 because of its position or by virtue of its position. The position of the 3 is 100. Hundreds. And then the position of the 4 is tens, while the position of the 9 is units. So the value of the 3 here is 300. Likewise, the value of the 4 is 40. And then the value of 9 is what? Just a 9. So on mixed operations, similarly, if you have a 3 and a quarter, for instance, this 3 and a quarter could also be partitioned as a 3 plus a quarter. And being 3 here being a whole number could also be what changed to a fraction as in 1 over 4. So the 3 here will be a 3 over 1 plus a 1 over 4. So this value here, that is 3 over 1 plus 1 over 4, is the same as a 3 plus a quarter, which is also the same as a 3 and a quarter. So, what will I want us to do together is conversion of mixed numbers to improper fractions. That is what we're going to look at before going into the mixed operations. Now, in the conversion, we have a three and a half. How are we going to convert this? A three and a half has to be partitioned. And in partitioning this, it is the same as saying a three plus a half. Because a three and a half is the same as three plus a half. Now, this is a whole number. That is, the three is a whole number. And one over two here is a fraction. That is, a half is a fraction. So what we have to do here is to make sure that our numbers are uniform. That is, we have to make sure that they are all fractions. And how are we going to do it? That is to say, to change, or we have to change the whole number, which is a 3 in this case, to a fraction. And that is to say, this 3 becomes a 3 over 1. And a 3 over 1 is the same as this 3 that we have here when we partition it. Plus a half. Meaning 3 plus a half is the same as saying a 3 over 1 plus 1 over 2. So you could see the uniformity in the two numbers that were partitioned. Now since we've now got a fraction yesterday, or your previous, or the lesson that we had before this one, we were looking at fractions, addition of fractions of the same one, with the same, with a different denominator. The denominator here is a one, that is in the first fraction, that is a three over one. And the denominator in the second fraction is a two, that is in half. Now, since the denominators are different, 
So what we need to do here is to make the equivalent form of this first fraction, that is a 3 over 1. The equivalent form of a 3 over 1 could be the same or will be the same as taking the denominator of this, because our target is to make sure that the denominators are the same. We multiply the first, the numerator with a 2, and the numerator here is a 3. So we multiply a 3 by 2, and then also go on to multiply the denominator 1 by 2. Then you bring in the operation, which is a plus. Now the second fraction that we have is a half. So in this case, we need to also take the denominator of the first fraction, which in this case is a 1, to multiply both the numerator and then the denominator, meaning the one has to be multiplied by 1, and then the 2, which is the denominator of the second fraction, to be multiplied by what? Another one. That is the same one here. Now what we are going to have is the multiplication of our numerator and then also the multiplication of our denominator to give us the first fraction. That is 3 times 2 will leave us with a 6. And then a 1 times 2 will leave us with a 2. So in the first fraction, which was initially 3 over 1, is now a 6 over 2. So this 6 over 2 is an equivalent form of the fraction 3 over 1, meaning when you simplify this 6 over 2, the result that you're going to have will be a 3 over 1. Then plus. A 1 times 1 here is a 1. That is, we now what? Multiplying the numerator. And then go on to multiply the denominator. That is, a 2 times the 1 will also give us a 2. So this fraction here is the same as this other fraction. That is, the second fraction, which is 1 over 2, is the same as the first fraction that we have as in 1 over 2. So you will say that this fraction is equal to this other one. Whilst the 6 over 2 is equivalent to the 3 over 1. So there is no changes in our fraction. The only thing that we have done here is to just have the equivalent forms of this fraction. Now that our denominators are the same. Because in the first fraction which is a 6 over 2, the denominator is a 2. And in the second fraction, which is 1 over 2, the denominator is also a 2. So if you looked at the denominators of these two fractions, you will realize that the denominators are the same. And this is one of the concepts that you were taught in the previous lesson. That when, when, um, when adding fractions with the same denominator, what we need to do here is to sum up the numerators and then take the common denominator. So the numerator here is 6 plus the second numerator of the, the second fraction is 1. Add this, adding the 6 and the 1 will leave us with a 7. And then the common, the denominator that they share in common is a 2. So in this case now, the 3 and a half could be written as an improper fraction form as in 7 over 2. And this is the conversion that we wanted. Now the second fraction or the second mixed number that we have is a 4, 2 over 5. How are we also going to change this to an improper fraction? The same approach used in the first question should be the same approach that should be used in the second fraction. And what is this approach? We have to partition this number. We have to partition the four whole number, 2 over 5. And in partitioning it, we'll have a 4 plus a 2 over 5. The summation of these two numbers, that is the addition of these two numbers, will still leave us with the same result that we have initially. But the object to make sure that the result of the 4, 2 over 5 is in an improper fraction form. How are we to do it? That is, we must 
change the whole number, which is a four here, to also a fraction. And how do we change a whole number to a fraction? That is, the whole number has to be divided by one. And our whole number here is a four. So dividing four by one will not change the result. But instead, changing the number there to a fraction. But the result will still remain, remain as what a four. So the four here, which is a whole number, is now written in a fraction form as in four divided by one. Plus the two also being divided by five. So what we're going to have is a four over one plus a two over five. What have we observed with the two fractions? The denominators here are different. In the first fraction, the denominator is 1. And in the second fraction, which is a 2 over 5, the denominator is a 5. The conclusion is, the denominators here are different. What are we to do? We must make sure that the denominators are the same. That is, the denominator here, 1, to be the same as the denominator 5. And how are we going to do it? To also come up with the equivalent form to the 4 over 1. That is the fourth fraction. And how will we make sure that we have the equivalent form to the 4 over 1? That is, we must take the denominator of the second fraction, which in this case is a 5, and then multiply the numerator with it, and then go on to multiply the denominator with it. Once you've done that with the first fraction, you must move on to the second fraction, which is a 2 over a 5. We must also come up with an equivalent form to this other fraction. And what we're going to do here is, to also take the denominator of the first fraction here, which is a 1, multiply the numerator with it, and then go on to multiply the denominator with it. Now, when you multiply each and every fraction, with expansion will be a 4 times 5, which will leave us with a 20, then over a 1 times 5, which is a 5, then plus. A 2 times 1 is a 2. Over a 5 times 2, so a 5 times 1 will leave us with a 5. So what you'll observe here is the new fractions that we're going to have will be a 20 over 5 plus a 2 over 5. Now the 20 over 5, say if a 20 over 5 is simplified, the result that we're going to have will be a 4 over 1. And a 4 over 1 is equal to a 4. The same way, this fraction, which is a 2 over 5, is equal to this other 2 over 5. And this 2 over 5 is this same fraction that we also have, the 2 over 5. So you could say that, or you will say that. The fraction that we have, that has been partitioned, that is a 4 plus a 2 over 5, is the same as, or is equivalent to, a 20 over 5 plus a 2 over 5. Now that the denominators are the same, what we'll do here is to sum up the numerators and then take the common denominator. That is a 20 plus a 2 divided by a 5. And the 20 plus a 2 is a 22. All over what? A 5. So if you look at this, the 22 over 5 is an improper fraction. And that is our target, to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. And the mixed number here is a 4 whole number 2 over 5 which in its in proper form, as a fraction, will be a 22 over 5. This simply means that to change a mixed number 
to an improper fraction, it is either we use it in this form, that is the approach that we have just finished doing, or you multiply the denominator of the fraction to the whole number, and then you add the, the numerator, and then the result be divided by 5. That is to say, a 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus a 2 is 22. And that is the 22 that we have as our numerator. Divided by the denominator 5. The same way, the 3 and a half. Ah, okay. Okay, we're not there. Okay. Good day, viewers and listeners. Welcome to yet another mathematics lesson. Maria, you want to give it? Yo, okay, Maria, no, but the can yadi like a caspa or kini a tea young. Say, 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 w.com ye prepared electricity sang min ka electricity company solto min bale gambia banko kanjang senegal mali nigeria and in sierra leone My fellow Gambian brothers and sisters, this is a message of uh, precaution, solidarity and hope. We living in very unusual times, the coronavirus is a menace that's threatening all of us. But together, united, we can do something about this. First, we need to take necessary precautions and take expert advice and act accordingly. Stay away from crowded places, wash our hands and use hand sanitizers where necessary. Let us remain calm and hopeful. There is a God that God is alive. Allah will take care of us, but we have to take the necessary precautions. There is a number that can be called for to report and to ask questions. Let's use it. Together, we can fight this menace. And we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there for us. Let's remain calm and hopeful. Inna allaha ma'as sabirin. Let's be patient, calm, take precaution and do the right things.